Not sure whether it's the right decision. In this kind of thing. Nanjing, a capital of China's eastern Jiangsu province, is a roughly 300 kilometers up from the city of Shanghai. It was the national capital during part of the Ming Dynasty. Many monuments and landmarks remain, including Zhonghua Gate or the Gate of China, a preserved 14th century section of the massive wall that contained the old city's of southern entrance. There are approximately 8.5 million population living here in Nanjing. There are many beautiful and interesting attractions to explore. Let's open our eyes and see the beauty of Nanjing in this vlog together. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night. Hello everyone! Welcome to Nanjing! Today I'm coming to the very first attraction which is on the top of my list because I would like to explore this place so much. Today we are at Nanjing New Show. There is like Buddha Dome, the famous one, and a beautiful pagoda. I have seen a lot of people is taking a bus to go there because it's 30 minutes walk to reach the pagoda but I decided to walk because look at the view along the way so amazing I can see a little duck you see look at that so cute It is extremely beautiful. It's like 9 a.m. Look at me. We have little fog coming out from my mouth because it is very cold. Ooh, we are walking there to the pagoda. Can you see that little pagoda? We are trying to walk there. So no one's walking except me. Not sure whether it's the right decision. Can you see? I think the decision is already 50% right. It's quite a foggy day. If it's a sunny day, I think we can catch I mean, even more beautiful scenery here. But with this foggy kind of feeling, also give a different dimension. So precious. I never know that Nanjing will have such a beautiful place like this. As an adult, ticket fee is 160 RMB. You know what? I really love this place. I only plan to stay here like two hours. I think if you plan to come here, you can stay up to the whole day.
guys i think we are almost there like still need another 10 minutes okay i have to say please take the bus unless you are the one who is like really fit and love to exercise it's like walking up the hill for 30 minutes i think we are almost there like if you take the bus going to be very fast but i think we're almost there see here here we're almost there i love china no matter how historical the place looks like they have the escalator to escort you up to the buddha dome Guys, we are officially here. They call it the Ford Palace. Look at this, so beautiful, it's gigantic. It is very photogenic as well. And right opposite of me, there is the beautiful pagoda. In order to come here, you have to walk 30 minutes. If you don't want to walk, it's okay. You can just take the bus and then you pay like 10 RMB. I would highly recommend you to take the bus and see here at least Buddha Dome first and then you can just walk down to see the scenery later. I already got some several cool pictures here. It's so beautiful. On the way I'm walking to the park, there's like two-sided big trees along the street and now it's winter, there's no more leaves on the trees which give a really amazing winter vibes. I'm wondering if I'm coming during springtime, will these trees turn into pink or like some colorful color? <gasps> I love this place! Look! We are here guys, we loop! So there are many activities we could do here, maybe we could go to the ticket office bus. But the thing that we would like to do is this cable car! This thing, this thing, this thing. Let's get inside, I'm so excited! I don't know why, what happened to me, but I'm super excited. Like, super excited. Okay, so we are here. Everything is in Chinese. <laughs> okay, so we got the ticket into the V-Loop. I think in this V-Loop, there are so many adventure activities you can do here. Like right in the middle of beautiful sceneries. I got the ticket with the cost of 58 RMB. But I'm coming way too early. I have to wait for one hour because there will start a cable car at 1 p.m. shot. I could definitely wait for one hour because I would like to take some photo with these beautiful trees. Let me show you guys. It's so beautiful. Woo. And by the time, let's just relax. Enjoy the view. Look at the view here, guys. Look. Look at the view behind me. It's amazing. I love Nanjing. I should have come to Nanjing long time ago. Ni hao. Like 
，也可以随便你知道，<笑>都一样吗？都一样。I got my 糖葫芦。How do you call this? Is it 糖葫芦？ You know, I never tried this before. It's gonna be my first time. The doko, doko. You know, I have seen these kind of snacks selling everywhere all over China, but I never tried before. Ooh, here we go. I mean, I'm back. I just throw away the rubbish. Let's take a photo first. It's so cute. It is sweet on the outside, but the strawberry tastes a bit sour. So it's like a perfect combination. I kind of like it. Hmm. Our bucket list for Nanjing trip is to sit on this solo cable car. What I mean by solo cable car is this whole cable car is for you, only for you for one person cable car. I think it is very suitable for you know a single person who would like to enjoy the cable car. It's it's quite fast, guys. Quite enjoyable, you know, alone but not lonely, you know, because people in front of me they are also sitting alone. Feels like I have some friends. So relaxing. So if you guys would like to come to this park, this park is called Zhu Jin Chan Tan Chien Gong Yuan. You can just come here because there is not only the solo cable car, but some other adventurous activity and some very good place for you to relax. Now let's go to the next destination. We are going to the temple. Let's go. Let's find a way. We are at the next destination, Ji Ming Si or Ji Ming Temple. Woo! There's so many people, but as far as I know, there is a famous ice cream shop here. Let's get a piece. People are buying a lot of these charms. Which one is going to be good? Is this one? This one can. So I grab one of these. It's for a lucky in work. Going to bring me luck. I now found the ice cream that I've been looking for. So cute. It's in the shape of Ji Ming Si. I have to be careful a bit because people are holding the candle around. It's cold, but it's good to have ice cream in winter. Right at the opposite of the temple, there is this city wall. Let's walk to the city wall.
to be honest, I kind of like Nanjing as well. Like different city in China is representing different environment, different view, different feeling. Every place is, is having their own unique characteristic, which I'm really excited to explore even more about China. I like Nanjing. I fall in love. I love the vibes here. And now we are walking to the end. Already to the end of the city wall. Alright guys, so I would like to end this Nanjing vlog here at Nanjing City Wall. Today we have a great time here in Nanjing. It is totally different with Shanghai. Like I got to escape from the busy city. If you like this vlog, don't forget to click like and to subscribe to Fun Fancy channel if you haven't done it already. I already have my next trip booked. Let's have a guess which city am I going next. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.